In this video, I will be showing you how to install your main board's logic components. Please note that it doesn't necessarily matter what order you install the components in, it's just easier to install the smallest ones first. First we'll be installing the R1 resistor. It can be identified by its yellow, violet, and two gold bands. Note how the component sits on the board, it kind of stands up like a little carrot. Um, so once you have that in there, you can go ahead and bend your leads and begin to solder. Next up we have the C1 and through C3 electrolytic capacitors. Please note they are directional and this is marked by the negative side on the capacitor and the positive side on the board. You also may end up needing to bend the leads on the capacitors in order for them to fit nice and snug. We will now be installing the C6 through C9 ceramic capacitors. They are labeled as 105 and their direction does not matter. Next, I'll be installing the D1 and D2 signal diodes. They are directional, and please note that this black band right, right there, um, the black band correlates with the white band on the board. So make sure that you install those properly. Next up, we'll be installing the D3 rectifier. Make sure to match the markings on the board with the markings on the rectifier. This is how your board should look so far. Next up, install the two sockets for IC2 and IC5. Make sure to match the notch on the socket with the notch drawn on the board. Good job! Then insert the ICs into the appropriate sockets. This may be a bit difficult and require you to pinch them into shape. You can do it, little purple hands. Now for the IC3 and IC4 voltage regulators. Do not confuse the two. They look very similar, but trust me, they are not. Also, check it out. You have to bend the leads a little bit to get them to fit. Install the two pin headers where it is labeled J-Phase on the board, and then install their jumpers. The direction of the jumpers does not matter for right now. Now to install the optical fiber receiver. Be careful, this part is very delicate. Ta-da! Also, before soldering, make sure that you secure the receiver with a nut and bolt. We also recommend soldering it no higher than 400 degrees Celsius. Before you install your T1 line transformer, make sure that it is rated appropriately for the voltage of your country. Lastly, install the X1 AC power connector. At this point, you may either want to stop to perform a low voltage troubleshooting test or continue on to build your main board. 